And now that we've got an idea of where everything is, let's talk about navigating in the 3D view. So this is just a cube that I've added. If you want to use this 03 begin start file, or you can just go to create mesh cube to bring a cube in just so we can see something in our view. So we're in our 3D view tab, and to actually navigate around, we're going to be holding down the Alt key and using different mouse combinations. Okay, so if I hold down Alt and I left click, I can actually rotate around. Okay, on Max, it's Option on Command. So Alt, left mouse button. If I Alt, middle mouse, I can track the camera around. Okay, so Alt, middle mouse, Alt, left mouse. Okay, if I want to dolly the camera, I can Alt with the right mouse button and move in and out. So right mouse button, still holding down Alt, right mouse button, middle mouse button, left mouse button. So if you've used other, if you've used something like Maya, this will be very familiar to you. Okay. Um, if you want to focus on a particular location, we can come ahead and just go ahead and move our cursor wherever we want to focus. And you can see how that is focusing that in the middle of the screen. So just moving our cursor, hitting F on the keyboard will focus that. If I hit A, it'll focus the entire thing. So everything in our uh, scene. Okay. Now we don't have to use the the uh, mouse key combinations. We can use the view cube up here in the upper right. And so I can just grab this and rotate it around if I want to. Or if I want to automatically jump to, let's say, a front view, I can just click on that front. Or now I want to rotate down to the bottom. I can click on that. And you can see how I can sort of grab these sides. I can go to a three-quarter view, or I can grab the corner and go to a view up like that. So you've got a lot of flexibility here in in being enabled or being able to select different views using the view cube. Okay. Or we can come in here and start to rotate it that direction. Okay. We can always hit this home to go back to this sort of a view. We have options for the view cube by hitting this little arrow. It's right now it's a perspective, but we can change it to an orthographic view, which will take that perspective out of it. Okay, we can set current views and so forth. Um, there's also properties that we can access here. So the view cube is also another way. You can also, as I said, click and drag on the view cube itself. Okay, now there are all also commands and tools that we can access through our 3D view. Okay, so out here in our 3D view, I can right click, which will bring up a marking menu, which will enable me to change some of the elements of the 3D view. So I can turn the grid off, right click again, just kind of swish up to the top and change that grid. Uh, there's also a gradient background, which I can turn on and off because of the video compression. I usually like to leave that off, but I believe it's on by default. There are also elements or uh, kind of aspects of our display of our models that we can change, which we'll talk about a little bit later. You can see here the what the marking menu looks like. If I come over the object and hit that right mouse button, the marking menu changes. So it depends on what you're hovering over. So right now we're hovering over a model, so we have elements that are specific to that versus here where our marking menu is specific to just the 3D view. And we also have a hotbox we can access. Hitting the space bar, get this kind of graphical interface. And here you can see that this is the same, this uh, sort of display circle up here is going to be this, the same as that marking menu that we just saw. And then if I go down, this is going to be the same sort of uh, marking menu as if we're working with this geometry. And then we also have, we can access our pose tools, our sculpt tools, our paint tools over here. We can change the brush size and strength, and then we can change um, some elements here, steady stroke, choosing the color, things like that. We can move things around. So this uh, hotbox can really allow us to access a lot of these elements much quicker than trying to come around to the different parts of the interface. We have everything right here. So if you get comfortable with that, you can use that. And that, again, is spacebar. Okay, so that's our hotbox. We can also access specific marking menus by right-clicking in the 3D view or right-clicking on our uh, model. Okay, and remember your alt with your mouse, different mouse combinations will enable you to, uh, to, to manipulate and move around in your 3D view. We also have the ability to uh, change how those key combinations work, but this is the sort of the default. Okay, one more thing. If you uh, come in here to your 
view cube properties, you can see that if you don't want to have this view cube on here, you can turn it off. Uh, but you can also change the position and the opacity. So in, if I don't want it up here, maybe I want it on the top left, I can go ahead and change that. So now it's over here. So uh, you, there's a lot of customization that you can do to it. Um, you can turn it off if you want to, if you don't want that view cube up there. Okay. So the next thing that we want to talk about, now that we've got our 3D view navigation down along with the marking menus and the hot box and the view cube. Let's go ahead in the next lesson and talk about creating meshes. So what are some of the ways that we can get geometry here into Mudbox? So we'll take a look at that in the next lesson.